Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, that's not what I want. you know Marjorie Mel Pammy how are you guys we're here again <laughs> I'm sorry I had a little bit of a delay um, maybe the pets are feeling a little bit of the mercury retrograde really out of their routine right now for some reason so and and my kitty cat is in heat again it's so weird it seems like she was just in heat. Um, and she might be outside my office door. I can hear her. I, I just, it's just, it's a little bit too raw. A little, a little bit <laughs> too naturey for me, I guess. It's just, it's life, right? It's no big deal. How are you guys doing? Hi, Lucien. Hi, Lori. Hi, Rolando. I am so glad you guys are here. Alexandra, Phelan, Catherine. Yes, Marjorie, new moon wishes. So this is like one, this is one time that I always look forward to every single month, our new moon. And I've been doing this for years. Actually, I, ha I have journals and journals full of new moon wishes that I've been doing, I think, for almost 15 years and I have filled up a lot of journals be and the thing is is that this is the thing this is the thing that finally got everything clicking in order for me because there was a time um, around 2006 2007 I was sick for a long time and I couldn't get well it was like I would find get to this point where I would be healthy and then it would kind of fall apart again. There's a lot going on in our lives. But the thing that finally kicked it into gear, where I got over the hump and moved forward, was when I discovered the power of new moon wishes, when I discovered medical astrology. I'm like, it, it's amazing. At least for me, it's amazing. But then I was applying these things to every facet of my life. And every single month since then, I do not wish wish I do not miss the new moon wishes so w how do new moon wishes work the ancients knew about the power of the new moon and our farmers know about the power of the new moon that's when they would plant their seeds and they would discover that when they planted their seeds at the new moon they would create the best yield the most abundance that they would have their their uh, crops were the most vital that they had. If you enjoy your farmer's almanac, that's actually based on the new moon and the moon's lunations, the moon moving through the zodiac in a given month, and what they describe are as being good times, whether to plant seeds, whether whether to um, you know, harvest certain vegetables when a good time is to get your hair cut. So all it is, is then we together are going to write some new moon wishes together. I call them new moon contracts because it's kind of like uh, the, the reflection that you put into the new moon and you are looking at yourself and your needs and then being conscious about what you're putting out there. And then to abide by that and look for evidence of those things happening in your life. Hi, hi, Impish. Thank you so much. So then fast forward, last November, I decided to start doing new moon contracts as a group because I could see the eclipses that we were headed into and I knew what we had been through in 2020 and then I felt like we needed to pre-pave the energies of where we were going because 
truly we are in an awesome new frontier cosmically and it sure feels like it i can tell as we get to the end of our these lunar cycles where there's just not that much juice anymore to do something or go with something or create with something it feels um it doesn't even feel like a vacuum it just feels like there's like no juice in the air the energy just doesn't know where to go and it's just kind of we're not fumbling around but it's just there's nothing i it, it's such an odd thing to describe because i haven't felt this way with new moons since we headed into 2021 in January and February with these lunations. And so I've been getting hits from the little Murgoat fairies that it's time to tend to these as a group again because they they need more instruction. So what are the Murgoats? <laughs> They're just these cosmic fairies that I was seeing starting in November. Um, there's one in particular she almost seems like a uh, like a two dimensional two dimensional figure you would draw, and it's you know black, like gray and white, black and white, um, and it's kind of like almost like a clip art figure, like a mermaid riding in a chariot. But as she's in the chariot, and if she were to go past you, her tail kind of loops around like the glyph for the sign of Capricorn, which is a goat. And so I call her a mergoat because she kept hanging around before we were having the new moon in that November. And I think the following new moon around December, it was like the word got out that, hey, we're working new moon energies here. Come this way. And then it was just like a stream of these like cosmic fairies. I call them mergoats that were here to do the work. Oh, yep, I see them now. They're here. They are um, kind of replaying to me what they did. Um, and these cosmic fairies, they are older than time. I think they're older than our galaxy. When I say the sign of Aquarius is the sign, the visionary that actually envisioned our galaxy, the Murgoats come from that energy that envisioned the thing that created our galaxy. And their job is just creative energy. So we sent out a big signal to come out here. They have just come streaming in. And at first, the first time when I was seeing them, when they were helping us with our new moon um, contracts, the image I was getting was uh, from like the 1976, 1978 movie Superman, if you saw that. Um, where Superman as a baby is on his planet that's, I guess, like falling apart, and his parents put him in a special um, little, would it be an asteroid or something? It's not really, well, I guess it's a UFO, but they put him in a protective thing to ship him away, away from the planet, and so... But the planet that he was on was made of a bunch of crystals um, that would like were sh that shot up in kind of like triangular formations. So the Murgoats, as I would tune into the energies, all of a sudden I would see like these crystal forms shooting up through the ground and structures that were being created. And then the more we did these wishes, it's like all of a sudden I couldn't see the cr structures. It became dark. But then it was like those crystal structures were so heavy and so full of form etherically, I couldn't see them, but they were so strong. They were all around me, but I couldn't see them because it was just around me, if that makes sense. And so as time went on, we have all these structures that are being built, trying to prepave for 2021. We're in 2021, trying to create a map of where we want to go. And things like happen. Like, I know that people, um, we made new moon contracts and wishes for, uh, for the Georgia senators. There was some other really wow news that came out. I was like, oh, we wish that. We put that out there. 
it's endless, the stuff that we had put out there as a group. But then most recently, uh, a couple months ago, the, I, like, I saw the Murgo before the new moon wishes, but then it was like she had the reins of her chariot and it was like she was handing it to me. And like when I grabbed the reins, it was like my hands turned into like a white glove, like a, an, uh, a beautiful, a beautifully adorned, extraordinarily well-made white glove that like went up my arm. I'm holding this rein and there's like almost like cosmic crystals all around my arm. And then it was like I was holding the reins of this chariot and she was like, go, you guys go. I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this. So then I would say the new moon Taurus, I kind of backed off a little bit. We didn't do many new moon contracts with this last lunation because now we're in the lunation of Gemini because I didn't know what to expect with those energies. I knew it was going to be a collision of a lot of heavy hitting energies. So I didn't want to do too much that would be uncomfortable that might, you know, bring on maybe injury because I've had that happen before where I've gotten so into these where I've done like over created my wishes and contracts where it like created some injury or it was just it was too much it was too hard on the body and I didn't want to do that with you guys so so anyway so I've been seeing our Murgoat and she's now floating there like we need instructions we need to create more and the reason why they are they want to create more last thing I'll say is because you know how awful 2020 was the Saturn, the great Saturn Pluto conjunction happened on January 12th, 2020. The sun was at 21 degrees Capricorn that day. Well, the Saturn Pluto conjunction in Capricorn with Jupiter in Capricorn and Uranus in Taurus, earthy sign. We hadn't had this lineup for like 7,000 years since the time of ancient Egypt when you start looking at all the big planets. We have this conjunction every 20 years. But to have that all with these earthy signs and with Capricorn then responsible for this conjunction, the change in world power and structure of governments... This is a heavy hitter. This is like a reset button. Well, in 2020, there was never a new moon in Capricorn that had the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. We had to wait until 2021. Thank goodness, because if Don Julio had this, this lunation in mid-January this year, we would be in really, really bad shape because now the sun, the leader of our nation, got to have this restructured new moon low nation with Saturn Pluto under his authority under Joe Biden. I, I cannot even tell you how lucky we are. I, this, is, I am, this is relief for me on the level of our Pluto return in 2022, okay? So we had that coming up. Then, if you recall, this is really important because this is something we have to address today. We had the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction, the Christmas star, on the first day of winter last year. Was that on the 20th, 2020? Well, the, this was at zero degrees Aquarius. There was a new moon lunation for Aquarius in February. So in January, we finally got this lunation to address the restructuring of world power and government. Then in February, we had the new moon to address this structure, which has to do with the rise and fall of world leaders, kings and queens. In fact, this new moon, Prince, is it Philip? passed away like the day before or the no it was the day after this new moon i couldn't believe it i mean 
as Michael, our friend Michael Grant says, the king killer. <laughs> Literally happened. So, and then I think in March we had a Mercury retrograde. So, 2020, for as we're in this process of transformation, I call this, it's a three-stage process for us in the United States. This is stage two. Stage one was the crappy 2020 year. Stage two is us remaking all of this stuff and adjusting. Stage three is our Pluto return, and that's on February 12th, 2022. This is where we're going. And we are going to write a wish for an easy adjustment for that. So how this works then, you've got the backstory and why we're doing this. How this works then is that we collectively are deciding our new moon contracts, our wishes. These are wishes. This is your homework. Wishes, contracts, intentions. The most powerful point for you to command that cosmic energy at a new moon is through writing because the focus that comes in through your brain and your thoughts and you're executing it into a physical form of writing and the hands being you know coming under the rulership of Gemini and Virgo the messenger it's literally that card of the magician as above so below i'm going to take these cosmic energies and i'm going to create here on earth this is your most powerful point of focus when we do this collectively, we're literally creating worlds. And the, I just had all the mer goats go, yay, hooray, we're creating a new world. So that's why we're doing this together, okay? So I am going to get some of my cards out here. I'm going to look at, I'm going to show you this, this horoscope. You guys, if you get the urge to write down what wishes you've had because we've had a lot of crap happening lately that we need to prepave out there and get that going, okay? And you guys know that better than me what's going on because I've, I've really kind of been hands off of the news lately, okay? So let me get a drink, okay? Leslie, the G7, we're jubilant today with our gorgeous president. I mean, is that awesome? Okay. Can I tell you how awesome this new moon was? Thank God we had the G7 over in the UK. This is the new moon Gemini here in Washington, D.C. It still applies to Washington, D.C., but it, um, but if you look over here, the sun and moon, if this is the east horizon, I mean, this is the horizon, this is the east. The sun rises here, hits its highest point and sets. On the eastern horizon, the good thing for the United States is at five degrees, Cancer, that's the United States natal Jupiter, our optimism, our big, 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 giant, giant family is what's giving life to the chart of this eclipse. <gasps> okay. Before I get ahead of myself, I have to show you one more thing. This is the other reason why this eclipse matters so, 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 so very much. The sun and moon are at 19 degrees Gemini. On the January 6th insurrection, the north node, which is the eclipse point of the sun here, the ecliptic path of the sun. Here, I have a globe. This is, a, this is actually a globe for the cosmos, for the um, stars. This, this obviously is not a globe of our world, but it's a globe of as we're standing on Earth at certain times of year where all the constellations are. So, there's the equator. The equator is straight across on the first day of fall and spring. But we know that the Earth tilts on its axis. 
So our equator then looks like it's on a tilt. This is the best analogy I have for you of the sun's ecliptic path. Do you see this line here? See how that goes? Watch this line as I spin. See how it goes up and down? This line is the sun's path on the earth throughout the year, okay? So it hits its peak in the Northern Hemisphere. This is like the first day of summer. Here we get to fall or spring. This is winter down here. So when we're talking about the North Node and the sun's path on the earth, it's just an eclipse point. So the eclipse point on January 6th, the insurrection, that was 19 Gemini. Where is it? So Gemini is over here. So, so let's just say it's like, where is it? Let's just say the eclipse point is like right here. So on the January 6th insurrection, the North Node was right here. The January 6th insurrection was like way over here. So the sun has moved now to the point of the January 6th insurrection. On a new moon eclipse, you guys. So this gives extra potent power for creating with the January 6th insurrection. See where I'm going? Because the North Node is where you're headed to. That's where all the energy comes ushering in. That's where the Murgots are like, help. What do we have to do? Give us some instruction. No, none of the Murgots show up. Well, maybe they do at the South Node, but nobody can see them during a full moon e eclipse because it's lit up. Because the moon is reflecting all the light of the sun. So, this new moon eclipse is conjunct the North Node, that point on the Earth, of the January 6th insurrection. This has to be addressed. This means this January 6th insurrection stuff is not going away. Whatever the sun, the leader of a nation, wants to have happen with that North Node January 6th eclipse is what's going to happen. Could you imagine if Donald was still in charge? He would blow it up. We would never find out what was going on because the sun represents the leader of a nation. This, so this was over Washington, D.C. The sun and the moon here are kind of in our blind spot again. You can't see it. And the sign here... Notice that Gemini starts and ends in this 12th house. It's intercepted. When it's intercepted, it really can't do a lot of heavy work. And in this area, it feels creepy. We don't know what's going on with the January 6th insurrection. <clears throat> this, and because we don't know, I would say this represents more of like our agencies. The people are still here who didn't go over to the UK. It's going to feel more nebulous and hidden and kind of creepy. Like we don't know what's going on, but boom, boom, boom. This is where our president is during this eclipse. Look at this. Now, <laughs> he's right at the top of the chart. And the world's attention is focused right there. At home, we have our good luck charm of Jupiter and our big happy family on the ascendant giving life to Washington, D.C. But our leader on the world stage is at the top of the chart. And everybody can see him. Everybody. And he's kind of a leader there. You know, Don Julio and the rest of the crew are trying to mess everything up. He can't. Now, this is where I like that this is intercepted because President Biden is there with everybody discussing what's going on. And because this, again, is intercepted, Gemini begins and ends within the 10th house, all of their plans can't be touched. Can't touch this. Mm -mm. Can't touch this. Can't touch it. Everybody's watching. Nobody can touch it but the people who are there at the G7. The world knows what happened at January 6th. The other world leaders, I'm sure, are telling 
President Biden what they're seeing, what they want to have happen, and giving him advice, and he's listening. There's a lot of contribution going on on a world stage about our, what happened on January 6th. And notice here, the top of this chart, Taurus 29, the last degree of Taurus. We're at an end point on the way the world used to work with the rusher, with the way we worked internationally with resources, things that are tangible, that's come to an end, the old way of doing things, because we are still in this first solar cycle of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction and the Saturn-Jupiter. We are truly at the helm of rewriting everything with our president at the lead. I mean, it's really, really great what's happening here. Here on the Ascendant is Virgo. I already did the Terrascope. I already drew the astrology cards. And I said, I want this Terrascope to reflect our leader in the UK. So President Biden, who he is, his identity, Leo, which rules the sun, I will. I have a heart as big as gold. I will do what I promise. We're back. We're here to help the world. The world is watching and nobody can touch this intimacy that's happening here. Isn't that amazing? And this eclipse in the UK, it is, so this is the bottom of the chart right here. This is you guys, look what else is here. Okay, I want to cry. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. So, like I've been saying, this fourth house defends home. Okay? The fourth house, we can't see this because this is beneath the horizon. So, this is subterranean. It's like it's underground. It's beneath our feet. This is the gravitational point of which everything is balancing on as the moon goes through this lunation and this cycle with the new moon. This whole lunation is balanced on this point, you guys. Here's where we defend home. This has to do with our ancestors, those who came before us, how we like were birthed. At the very bottom of this point, some of you guys might see this already. We have 29 degrees Scorpio at the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, the asteroid, America, was at 29 degrees Scorpio. This has been so pivotal. Where it's placed in the United States at the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, it's like it has the very last say and last word on what goes on with money, resources that we share with everybody else, and we have the last say in what happens in the world and with the law and how we address faith. So just like I said, the Saturn-Pluto conjunction is a touchstone for a 7,000-year reset, so it true is that lunation, I mean, that conjunction for the charts in all the locations of the world. So for the United States, yes, this is how it's going to be going forward. And now as we remake this whole year, we're with our allies, we are abroad, we are cast in this beautiful, magical new moon eclipse energy to rewrite the future on how we're going to do things. And the asteroid America is at the very bottom of the chart. Again, America is back. And all of this is kind of she's the foundation. These asteroids are powerful. I will tell you, when we were hit Pearl Harbor, 
the United States could not defend herself. The degree 29 Scorpio was very prominent. I can't remember exactly why, but it was a death blow. At 28 degrees Scorpio, the United States had has the asteroid Boehner, B-E-I-N-O-R, which is basically being able to weave some magic with the resources that you have to create something um, spectacular and new. It's kind of like getting into your kitchen, your, your recipes, and creating something phenomenal. Well, that passed, and then we are at 29 degrees, and this happened. So with the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, America now has something that has her back at 29 degrees Scorpio. I think it's 29 degrees 20. So there still is this little, little sliver of vulnerability, but it's not as big as it used to be before, and she can defend herself. So America here in this chart is there at the G7, and there's an undeniable pull with President Biden there and what he's saying and what he's doing, and he all of them are untouchable. It's really, really amazing. I know Mercury is retrograde here, and she's combust. She's Kazemi. She is conjunct the sun. And it's kind of like the Mercury retrograde stuff because she rule. well, it's neutral, he, she, rules Gemini. It's like all that stuff doesn't apply. It's like you get a pass. Uh, it's like, yeah, that combust stuff doesn't apply. It's like we get magical superpowers on top of it. It's really, really amazing. So this is the chart. We have things to address at home and abroad, but I wanted you to know the backstory of what good positioning we're in right now. Okay, let me get my other board. See, look how busy I've been. I haven't even been able to erase my stuff and get my, my office all cleaned up. So let's, let me get the astrology dice. I'm going to get the astrology dice, and the astrology dice are going to tell us where to focus with our wishes. This is a good time to get your paper pencil. Okay, so... These are my astrology dice. I love my astrology dice. So this is what we're going to do. I just want to see where we're supposed to really focus upon. So we have... Ooh. we Oh, look at this. We have the sign of Libra. I like that. Harmony and balance. Ooh, which is right here in this chart. In the second house of income gains, our values, our substance, and our gains and in income of who we are feeds the third house of plans and communications and deals that are made. We also have the planet Uranus, things unexpectedly happening. That is, oh, it's right here in the ninth house. <laughs> I always think of the Russia over here. And then we have the 11th house. These are our friends and networks. This is where this energy is really looking to be focused upon. So that's in the UK. Let's look at the United States. Where are we supposed to focus? Where are we supposed to focus? We are supposed to focus ooh, on the sun right here. Our president, in this area, of, we have Ayad and destiny. Hidden enemies is Uranus genius. That's kind of like ambush attacks, kind of the way I think of it. We have the sign, the sign of Pisces over here. What well, crowns the United States, what's going on abroad, and, and our faith, our philosophy, our law enforcement. And we have the seventh house here, our partnerships in Capricorn, governments, world governments. So these are places that 
we should be focusing upon. So all we do is I start writing stuff. You guys just write along with me. If you don't like the wording, change the wording. But to keep things simple, I always just write, I want this, I want that. I'm a Scorpio, I'm full of desire. That's the word that works for me. If you want to use words like I manifest or I, ha I am, um, etc., etc., use the words that work for you. The energies will still, still work for all of us, okay? So... What do you guys got? It's a Miss Cleo Miss Club. And Juno. Juno is the first one. What do we need to write out, write out with Juno? Juno has. Oh, the Four of Swords reversed. Okay. Four of Swords reversed. For me, this is like malware that has infected ransomware and malware, which makes sense because Mercury is an air sign. So what do we want? What do we want? So I want an end to the ransomware on USA businesses. world businesses. I want hackers held 100% accountable and for future hackers to completely abstain from the practice given the pressure their government is under. I want the world to apply effective immediate rules, consequences for those who hack and harbor, harbor them, especially countries like Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, Turkey. They all have good hackers. I want to be totally immune to the hazards of hacking. Okay, so this is what I have. I want an end to the ransomware hacking on the United States, the world, and businesses. I want hackers held 100% accountable and for future hackers to completely abstain from the practice, given the pressure that they're under from their government and others. I want the world to apply effective immediate rules and consequences for those who hacked, those that they harbor who hack, especially for countries like Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and Turkey. I want to be totally immune to the hazards of the hackers. I do not want them to leverage any power. Okay, Michael, I want the, ooh, ooh. Michael says, here we go. He says, I'm just writing what he's saying. I want 
the U.S. government to impose mandatory privacy rights over the internet now like the EU. I, where do we go with social media? I want accountability. Now, for social media companies, platforms, I wish we'd stop calling them platforms, like FB Twitter, who weaponize personal data for nefarious autocrat auto, autocrat purposes. What else do you have here? Ah, Leslie, there you go. I want no one to pay hackers. I want hackers and money out of our election process. Oh my gosh. I want the frauds in Arizona. Where else are they going? Are they going to Georgia? Exposed and stopped immediately. I want new election what are they called the, the the election machine voting machines with pa and paper and paper ballots we want the right ones okay so I want no one to pay the hackers. I want hackers and money out of our election process. I want the frauds that are happening in Arizona and Georgia exposed and stopped immediately. I want new voting machines with paper ballots. I forget what Jenny Cohn calls them, but whatever Jennifer Cohn says on the Twitter, I think she's at Jenny Cohn one is her handle. She's all over this stuff. She's got it. Oh, yes. Okay. So we got that one. So that was very productive. Juno, thank you. Marjorie's up next. What card are you going to draw? Can you do some cleaning? <laughs> what do we have here? Marjorie. Handmarked paper ballots. Thank you. Handmarked paper ballots. I like that. What about Fox's news responsibility for their line? This is a really good time to address that because Gemini has to do with communications, right? And they, the, Gemini rules the area that has to do with broadcasting. Okay, Marjorie. Ooh, the emperor. I've been showing, I've been seeing this emperor show more and more now with President Biden because he's been taking a stand and it's the force of the planet Mars behind him with action and clarity of what we're doing. This is a different emperor than Donald at the behest of Putin. So you have major arcana here. So the emperor, I'm feeling like we need to move now to the UK because he has a lot of emperor-ish stuff happening over here. So what do we want here? 
with the emperor. Oh, I know. I want POTUS, Vice President Biden Harris and their families, the admin, totally and completely safe. I want them surrounded 24 seven by the very best secret service in fact, I want the Secret Service to rise up to the duty, honor, and professionalism they are tasked with. I want, because they're short on people, I want them, I want Secret Service, the United U.S. government, to hire all the people they need. Just as I want the Capitol Police to have all the reinforcements they need. There's like 500 Capitol Police that are supposed to be retiring in the coming years. I want our Secret Service Police National Guard, military, local law enforcement to have all the resources, bodies, proper training, they need to always keep our public servants safe. Oh boy, we got a lot to write here. I'm not done with this, but I'm out of room. Okay, so I want President Biden, Vice President Harris, and their families and the administration totally and completely kept safe. I want them surrounded 24 seven by the very best secret service. In fact, I want the secret service to rise up to the duty, the honor, um, the professionalism they are tasked with. I want secret service, the United States government to hire all the people they need, just as I want the Capitol Police to have all the reinforcements they need. I want our Secret Service Police, National Guard military, local law enforcement to have all the resources, the bodies, the proper training they need and deserve to always keep our public servants, communities safe. There's a lot more we have to add to that. Go. What else do you guys want to add to that? Because I know that is a lot. Ooh. Okay. I want accountability now as in arrest for those who 
deny the January 6th. And oh, see, here we are. Here we are at the North Node, you guys. This is everything we write about this right now is super powerful. Give me your ideas as they, you get them. We're, we're going to stay, we're going to park it here for a while, okay? As an arrest for those who deny the January 6th insurrection, I want the GOP who aided the insurrection to be arrested. ASAP without conflict. I want a January 6th special commission, special counsel, and and what you guys oh gosh i want to and exposure of all those who funded the insurrection exposed for all to see. For example, for example, Raga, the Republican Attorneys General Association that funded this, especially out of St. Louis. I have names, I can't remember them off the top. For example, Ginny Thomas. who funded the buses, and Clarence Thomas needs to leave. As such, I want Mark Meadows in jail. You guys, his telescopes all over the place. He also was working with that ANOM app. He's been tracked all over the place. He, he's been very bad. I want Mark Meadows in jail for facilitating this. I want, who else? Roger Stone. The Oath Keepers that were there, the 3%, the P-Boys, all charged and jailed until their hearing. They don't get to be out and about. Who else? Oh, there's a presser at 2 p.m. Yes. Okay. Got it, Leslie. So I want account accountability now as in arrest for those who deny the January 6th insurrection. I want the GOP who aided the insurrection. Oh my gosh, wait a second, you guys. I don't know if I'm caught up with you guys. Can you see me? Okay. Where am I? I want the GOP who aided the the insurrection to be arrested as soon as possible without conflicts. I want a January 6th special commission, a special counsel, an exposure of all those who funded the insurrection exposed for all to see. For example, Raga, the Republican Attorneys General Association based out of St. Louis, Ginny Thomas, Clarence Thomas needs to leave. I want Mark Meadows in jail for facilitating this. I want Roger Stone, the Oath Keepers, Three Percenters, Proud Boys, all charged and jailed until the their hearings. They don't get to be out and about. I'm still not done. What else do I have to add to this? Oh, 
Oh, I know. I want all the foreign money, especially from China, but also the Russia exposed who are funding the insurrectionists I want to know who stole the emergency panic buttons. From congressional offices. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I want Cash Patel, Chris Miller, Generals Charles and Mike Flynn. Hauled into court and jailed. Of course, with Donald and his psycho kids, Eric, Jr., Ivanka. Charles Kushner, too. You guys, Charles Kushner, we have not been able to talk about him. He's as bad as a back channel as Eric Prince. Charles Kushner and Eric Prince. Oh my God. And DeVos exposed with their roles. We got this. What else we have? Uh, oh goodness. Here we go. So, You guys are moving too quick. <laughs> what do we have, Leslie? <laughs> I saw the big, big, big exclamation points. Where is it? I want Mo Brooks charged. Josh Hawley charged. Ted Cruz charged and jailed. Who else? I want pardons totally invalidated. I want Mitch McConnell charged with Elaine Chow. I want Mike Flynn. Flynn Jr. and Charles charged. Oh my gosh. Chuck Grassley is screaming in my head. Whatever Chuck Grassley did. Oh, here comes Joni Ernst. Chuck Grassley and Joni Ernst did to Iowa charged. Oh my God. Brett Kavanaugh just jumped in my head. Brett Kavanaugh. Oh my gosh. And that gross lady and ACB charged. Charge him. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. You guys, Matt Gates is showing up all over the place right now with 
what just what came out with that A C A N O A N O M? With May and Nestor too. Like they are kind of like the epicenter there in Florida. Okay, who else? I want. Oh my gosh. I want Bill behind bars. And Marsha Blackburn. Okay, I don't know what they're charging, we're charging them with, but we all know there's something. And Devin Nunes. Oh my gosh. Elise Stefanik. And Elise Stefanik. You guys, I didn't tell you this. A couple weeks ago, all of a, you know, I'm just doing my thing and all of a sudden I tune into her energy and she had this look on her face like stunned, shell-shocked. Like within a day or two that she took Liz Cheney's position, like all of a sudden she was on the inside and she saw what they were doing and what she got sucked into and there was no turning back and she had so much dread and remorse and regret like she just felt like she could have dissolved in that moment and just she just wanted to be out it was very interesting okay oh my gosh i want desantis charged and Matt Gates. Oh my God, Steve Mnuchin, that crap needs to come to the surface. I want Jim Jordan locked up and out of here. Who else do we have? Oh, 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 I want. Okay, yes, thank you. Be careful what we work, wish for. I want MTG Boobert. <laughs> All candidates like them. out and never to return to Washington. Okay. This is with the emperor. Oh my God. I want Stephen Miller held accountable. I want Fox News, OANN, what is that all called, um, that other one, it's in the mid Midwest, begins with an S, that they started, um, I want to say Sterling, it's not Sterling, but all these, is it these fake news networks to be exposed? for criminal ties and aiding hostile hostile states against USA I want this disinformation the information war to end. We're never going to get anywhere without it gone. Okay. I'm Bill Behind Bars. Also Marsha Blackburn. Devin Nunes. Elise Stefanik. All of them ha held accountable for what they're doing. We know they're doing stuff. I want DeSantis charged. Matt Gates, Steve Mnuchin charged. Jim Jordan I want MTG and Boobert and all the candidates like them kept out of D.C. and never to return again. I want Stephen Miller held accountable. I want Fox News, OANN, the, the other news networks like that to be exposed for their criminal ties, for driving this information war, 
and aiding hostile states against the United States. I want the information war to end. Oh, there we go, Michael. Yes. I want the fairness doctrine reinstated. I want stupidity to end now. Okay. Uh, Newsmax always. Uh, Sinclair, yes. There was another one you guys had up here. Um, where is it? Oh, oh. Speaking of Jelaine, I want huh, the truth to come out now. ASAP regarding and crimes against United States government and inside actors helping her. You guys, so her ascendant in her chart is 10 degrees Gemini. That is where the North Node is right now. Something's gonna happen. So we want this to be exposed and opened up. What else do you guys have? Message in my home to get me into problems. I wanna know who message my home to get into my problems. Hmm. Okay. I want to know who placed the pipe bombs throughout DC on January 6th. I want all resistance to January 6th investigations completely released. I want full force going forward and moving toward solutions and exposure of what happened. I want the world to know ASAP. Oh my God, I just have to write this one thing because it is driving me crazy. GOP to stop, Ugh, I don't even know how to write this, to stop campaigning for 2022 right now. It's, he hasn't even been in office for six months and they are already making decisions because of 2022? Stop doing this. Get the work done. P. 
pass infrastructure. The way we want it. Pass the voting rights. Bill Expose Mansion Cinema Now okay I had to get that out of my out of my system. Whatever the GOP is banking on for 2022, they need to just stop. They, I want them to stop. This is so ridiculous and dumb. I want them to pass the infrastructure bill the way we want it, not them. <laughs> I want all the bells and whistles, and I want them to pass the Voting Rights Act and expose Mansion and Cinema now for who they are. Oh my gosh, we need to. You know who else needs to be in jail? Oh my gosh, this is meant. Coke. Heritage. Action. I know they're under investigation. Need to be charged now with interference with elections and legislating. Okay. How are we doing? Oops, I'm all the way over here. Where are you guys? Garland is live? What is? Oh, there you go, Sally. I hear you. So since that is also related to Mars with this emperor, I don't want to, you have. I want gun legislation now. <laughs> I want full criminal justice reform. It's on voting? I want Garland's presser to be awesome. <laughs> Get it done. See, look how fast we did that with the, <laughs> with the fraud. It. Okay. What is this? I want full force going forward and moving towards solutions and exposure of what happened. I want the world to know ASAP. I want to know who placed the pipe bombs. Okay. I want all resistance of January 6th completely released. Okay. Yeah, this feels, I'm sorry, you guys, I do feel a little off today because the moon is in cancer. I like it because it's aspecting Venus right now. You know, we like that. And some of our planets in our chart. Unfortunately, it's like squaring the top of my chart right now. So I just, I'm getting a little bit backwards on some things. But okay, thank you, Marjorie, for the emperor. <laughs> we have Mel. Mel Dom. What, what, what do we have to do? What? Mel. Mel has. Does it go this? Ten of Cups. I want to be one big happy USA family based in reality and facts. And who cares and nurtures? one another free of the divisiveness 
I want to release political ops in USA, the world, now. Okay. I want to be one big happy USA family based in reality and facts and who cares and nurtures for one another free of the divisiveness. I want to release all these political ops. Ugh. Anything else? Your moon is in Venus. Oh, do you know? Yes. I want to feel totally safe at home and in my community. I want the fear and violence in the streets to evaporate. I want the world to be a kind, loving, safe, and fun place to be wherever I go. I want to feel totally safe at home and in my community. I want the fear and violence in the streets to evaporate. I want the world to be a kind, loving, safe, and fun place to be wherever I go. Whoops. Living wages. I want we, the people, to be well cared for by our government. I want all families, all people to have the best living wages ever, to only need one job, to go on vacations and to easily feed and care for ourselves and others. We want our money back. We want our freaking money back. We, the people, want our money back. We want our birth rights given from free and fair elections and voting to our pursuit of justice and happiness and our natural resources. We want our stuff back. We the people want our money back. We want our birthrights given all the time. We want our free and fair elections and the ability to vote. And we want to be able to pursue justice and happiness. 
we want our God-given birthrights as United States citizens with access to all that was promised to us by our those who came before us. We want all the people to be well cared for by the government. That's not socialism. We paid for it. We're going to spend our money the way we want to. I want all families and all people to have the best living wages ever to need just one job, just one job, and be able to go on vacations and be able to easily feed and care for themselves and one another and their families and whoever else might need some help. That's what I want. Living weight, got it. Yeah, Garland, okay. I want, okay, you guys, I, I realized it last night because of all the bullshittery that's coming out. You know, we were finding out yesterday about them, the former guy and Barr getting records from Democrats. Remember how long it took to get him confirmed? And I always felt like they were setting up crap in the background, like they were going to booby trap him and whoever else came in and were in charge of agencies. And that's exactly how it feels because you can, again, feel the crescendo of this week. Did you, have you felt the crescendo this week of all the outrage over Garland that it has set steadily progressed each and every day? That crescendo, when it hits by the end of the week, like an ocean wave, it breaks against the shore. It's a freaking app with heritage most likely behind it. So I feel like he's been booby trapped. He can only do so much. He doesn't even have all of his people yet. And I am glad he's holding on to stuff. You know what? If it takes a little bit more time because there's so much shit to come through, so be it. But we're going to do it right. And we're not going to squander him because that's just like blowing it all up again. This has that feeling again of what happened with Governor Cuomo when they were like, he needs to quit. And she said this and she said this and another. I mean, it was just the steady beat of the drum. So I want this. This trap. That been created for Attorney General Merrick Garland before he was confirmed to break all those booby trapping DOJ and other agencies because you guys it's coming I know it's coming each one of them got their stuff that they set up and other agencies to be exposed and righted ASAP and and oh, bad actors charged. They're really trying to bog down the system. Whatever GOP, Coke, whatever, did to bog down the system, the system system I want it to collapse on them I want Attorney General Merrick Garland to be able to effortlessly oh I feel the magician breeze through all of his 
work. Oh my gosh, you guys, the Murgoats are there. Murgoats. Help. Attorney General Merrick Garland and our DOJ. You guys there, can you feel that? It, it's like you could almost feel like the whoosh, the breeze from them getting to work. Yep, exactly, Leslie. Everything Holio projected on others is exactly what they were doing every time. Garland is talking about the fraud. It's good. Oh, okay, Michael Grant. We'll do that. I don't know what that is. Okay. What did Mike... I want... I want the practice of law in federal courts removed from state bar oversight so the likes of Kevin Asty get investigated Ooh, I think there's a storm whipping up here. Investigated when bar complaints are filed against them. Michael, I always appreciate your perspective. You always have these, these little nuggets where it's like you know where the loopholes are. Loopholes. Fixed, please. Okay. That's a ton of cups. I like that. Who's next? We've got one more. I didn't even erase the names, you guys. Pammy. Pammy's got a card for us. Pammy. The death and the spies. Oh, okay. I want an end to the timidity of defending our Constitution. Like, who's going to enforce that? I want an end to hidden spies infiltrating our U.S. government agencies and legislation. I want an end to the hidden psyops and Those who are silently chipping away at our democracy. I want to get bad actors out of our government. I want standards, rigorous
your standards for running for office. I.e., if you cannot gain a security clearance from the FBI, your you can not be on a ballot for office. That's kind of simple. You can't pass, get a security clearance. You can't represent. Never again. Yep, Hippie Sue. I want them to stop playing with women's rights. Ooh, I hear thunder. Okay. Pass. Oh, nope. That's not it. Ratify the Equal Rights Amended. Amendment. You realize, we get this thing going. You know what ends? Everything about gay marriage. Everything about making cakes for gay people. The Equal Rights Protection. And it will end the crap with health care that costs more for one sex and not the other. Simply ratify the ERA now. Who's holding out? I think there's just a couple states we're waiting for. Ratify it. Okay. Yeah, well, yes, the ERA is for women. Basically, it's very simply states. Let me tell you the language. ERA. Nope, I don't want real estate. It states that the words are so simple, but when you think about it, it applies to all. Is it the, the equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. So yes, it does apply to women. Women really, really want this, but it also it applies to anybody regardless of their sex. The whole bathroom divisive thing, bathroom bill, that stuff goes. This whole transgender banning athlete goes. These become non-issues. And that's why the GOP doesn't want to ratify it because the thing that they use to divide and conquer people and the biggest bang for their buck is everything that they exploit on sex, including reproductive rights. That's all they have. That's how they get their people to the polls. So has your state, okay, this is, um, here we go. Who needs it? Here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a list. <laughs> Here we go. I want Alabama to ratify the ERA. Montana ratified, Alaska, Nebraska, oop. I want Arkansas. What does Arkansas have to do to get this done? To ratify the ERA. Nevada ratified Arizona. These mofos. Notice where the most mofos live and it's not ratified. I want Arizona to ratify the ERA. New Hampshire, California, New Jersey, Colorado, New Mexico, Connecticut, New York, Delaware. 
Yay! I, what the heck, New North Carolina, North Carolina? I want North Carolina to ratify the ERA. Oh, jeez. I want Florida. You know what? Why are all these mofos in this place? See, I'm telling you, this is their, this is what they base their campaign on. I want Florida to ratify the ERA. North Dakota, Georgia. I want Georgia to ratify the ERA. Ohio, Hawaii, Oklahoma. Shame. Mm. I, we, we are going to get this done. Do you hear that, Margoats? Get this done. This is what we really want. I'm sorry to be so forceful. I want Oklahoma. Got plenty of gas money there to ratify the ERA. How much do I love this under this new moon? Ohio, wait, Idaho, Oregon, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Indiana, wow, Rhode Island, Iowa, South Carolina, Lindsay. I want South Carolina to ratify the ERA. Kansas, South Dakota, Kentucky, 1972. Tennessee ratified in 1972. Louisiana. I want Louisiana to ratify the ERA. Texas ratified in 1972. Maine, Utah. I want Utah to ratify the ERA. Maryland, Vermont, Massachusetts, Virginia, Michigan, Washington, Minnesota, West Virginia. I want Miss Mississippi to ratify the ERA. Wisconsin, Missouri, of course, it's it's always Missouri. We need to get the Russia out of Missouri, too. I want Missouri to ratify the ERA. Wyoming, 1973. This is all we're waiting on, you guys. This is all we're waiting for. And we're good. Right? Okay. What else you guys have? Where are we? Hi, you guys. Tennessee ratified the women's vote. It was a state representative grand granny who had a talk with her politician GOP son. We need more of those grannies. All them. Tyre, I want the U.S. to be blue. Okay, what else do we need? I want a rectification station. Yes. Ooh, let's go with that. A-N-O-M. You guys, this, this is a perfect one because we can run with this energy. Operation Trojan Shield. I want all of the ANOM comms released. I want total success with Operation Trojan Shield. So ANOM is the app on the device that was created by the FBI. That app getting put out there in the criminal networks is the Operation Trojan Shield. 
let's look at some cards. Because I can feel a change in the air with the GOP ever since this came out. And notice, what weren't there websites and hacks that came out? It's like ever since this went down, there's just been a flurry of just angry crap being smeared everywhere. So, um, no, I'm not supposed to use this deck. Where's the, the oh, this one? This is the one I'm supposed to use. Tarot. Wait, what? Am I am I buffering? I want to see how Operation Trojan Shield is. Ooh, oh my goodness, going with the GOP. Show me Operation Trojan Shield. Why is this not going? I'm sorry, you guys. Show me Operation Trojan Shield. I've had this question in the back of my mind. Oh, you guys, how much? Holy crap. You guys, how, how long has this Two of Pentacles reverse been showing up for me? But I was seeing this more and assuming it was with hacking and mal. Well, it was. But the stuff that was getting injected out to us, holy crap. You know, like things that were implanted by the hackers. But remember, this Operation Trojan Shield has been going on for like two years. I wanted to see what Operation Trojan Shield was. And I get this Two of Pentacles reverse. You guys have seen this. You guys have seen this. Show me Operation Trojan Shield here in the United States. At the base of this. <gasps> endings delayed. Foundation of this, it's bringing about endings. Endings. It's delayed because there's a lot of stuff out there. What's crowning Operation Trojan Shield in the United States? Our intel and the app that what's crowning it are all the mofos using it, but they don't know that this app is, they don't know it. <gasps> what happened in the past in the US with this thing? In the past, it was developed through one of our agencies because Look at this poverty that it's causing on the streets, which led to this. It goes both ways, kind of. The King of Wands kind of turned over, making a dent into the angry Putin. Kind of. And further out, what does this do? <laughs> Indictments. In the United States, what's the challenge with this? The challenge was trying to get to all the goods covered in this app. This app is covered in news from abroad that's been so-called encrypted, but we have receipts. And that is the star and the Trump crime syndicate is caught. caught. So that's here. I wanna see, so we're gonna look at Operation Trojan Shield and the GOP. I want to know how this is hitting them. Okay. Show me three ways. Show me Operation Trojan Shield. The Republican Party. <gasps> what 
what's happened in between. What is what effect does this have on the Republican Party? How is it affecting them? While I do this, if you guys have any more wishes you want to write down together, put them in the chat box and I'll add them. And then that'll be up for today. Operation Trojan Shield. Death. There's their treason. Putting a slow end to all of this. So I'm kind of crooked here. Let me move this. Okay. It's affecting them, number one. It's making them super duper weak. They pride themselves in their Russian strength and being able to do whatever they want. Nope, um, that's coming to an end. Because at the foundation of that, we have taken their data, their people, their everything that they've done, and we've blended it together with a special number that's trace. We have the goods. What's crowning this, how it's gonna affect them? <laughs> Russia, Putin, all their Putin ways. The second way it's going to affect, this app is going to affect the Republican Party. The Ten of Swords, Ten Swords in the back. It's giving them a false sense of, oh yeah, we can keep going. We can live another day. The basis of this, because we know it's all about timing. We have yet to get to this part, you guys. This is what's happening. We haven't seen the, these two, or the second and third thing yet, okay? So the basis is how they work on their timing, like with the Veselnitskaya, other Russians, whoever they're communicating with to get the timing of what they want to get going. And what's crowning them? Well, they've made all these investments, but all their coins are falling out. All the data is falling out. Everything they've been able to through transportation to get here, it's gonna all come out. And the third thing we don't know about yet, holy crap, these are the election burdens, you guys. The freaking elections. This has been my card for the Cokes, but this is bringing an end to their world influence, their, their world resources, the world, other governments helping them out with their election burdens, crowning them. Oh boy, look at all those texts. All those texts, all those goods, and it's coming in fast. Those are the receipts. That's how it's gonna affect them, you guys. And uh, it, is, it is, I think, in a blind side. I don't think they know what to do, except try to bury us in this other, whatever it is they're doing now to get every, they're a mess. Okay, let's. Who else has wishes? Okay, here we go. Let's write them together. What do you want, Suzanne? I want total and complete. Oh, where did it go? Complete financial security in my retirement and a retirement totally fulfilling and filled with all of the promise I've dreamt it to be. Everything. I want total and complete financial security in my retirement and a retirement totally fulfilling and filled with all of the promise I've dreamt it to be. I want to release my fears 
about my retirement. I want to have more than enough. There. Very good. Thank you, Paisley. Oh, yes. Okay. Leslie. I want President Biden and all meeting with Stub Putin to be completely protected and immune from whatever he's trying to, he tries to implant or um, or affect him affect POTUS with like I'm thinking about like those sound machines we just want President Biden to put completely be immune to it and to be able to deflect whatever garbage he has going I want total success for 46 at his meeting June 16th. Totally safe. Yep. Oh my goodness, look at you guys. I want to see Russia free of tyranny. Also, Turkey, Belarus, Iran. China. Oh gosh. Um, Yemen. Ethiopia. Myanmar. Free. I want 45 and the admin held completely responsible for horrible COVID management and action and corruption. I want the correct right form of term limits. And I write that because th this is such a big issue. It, I, it, it, it just needs, the, the, we need just the right formulation. Let's see. Okay, so I want companies to protect their computer systems from all hackers, including our electrical grid. Yes. I want all companies to
to comply with 46's executive order and guidelines for being hack proof. I want our grid totally protected. You guys, I know that this E-A-N-O-M e stuff came out, but there's more. This is just a preview, I think, to what we've been doing to get prepared. This is just a smidge. They're, they've got something going on that they've been working on for a while. I don't know what it is, but I, it, it, it's, it feels just a little bit closer than it has in the past. I want to see wonderful tiny house villages that are clean and full of parks and gardens and simply enchanting and magical for all. That sounds like so much fun. Oh, yes. I want to see wonderful tiny house villages that are clean and full of parks and gardens and simply enchanting and magical for all. Huh. Scotus. I want to see limits for SCOTUS justices. 15 year, 20 year, and the lifetime appointment. Okay, <laughs> Alexandra. for the Trojan shield joke. I used to get Trojan shields by the case when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, what tarot deck is being used with reflective colors? That tarot deck is this one. There are some other, but obviously it's written in Chinese. I didn't know that when I bought it because I bought it online. So that's what it is. I want to thank Z Queen and everyone who watches this video and writes their Newman contracts. I want to keep writing the best ever New Moon contracts. Ooh, I want an easy, comfortable Pluto return for USA all 2021, 2022, 23, and beyond. Okay. More than 10. I don't know how to write this. I want CEO exec pay to be proportionate for all workers on the salary scale. Fairly and reasonably proportionate for all workers on the salary scale. Speaking of that, I want the plutocracy 
transformed for the good. For the greater good. There we go. That feels good. Michael Graham wants to reincarnate into another dimension. Is that your ascendant and Neptune speaking, Sir Michael? <laughs> I want a fair tax system across the U.S. government. Okay, I, we need to give a shout out to Janet Yellen because she did something. She negotiated a certain tax rate on the world stage. I don't know how she did it, what it means exactly. I just know that she got that done and it's never been done before. Way to go, Janet. Oh goodness, where, well, I just lost it. Where are you guys? Okay. I want an end to the global plutocracy and oligarch system. I want free, clean energy and the collapse of the systems that have prevented and blocked this globally. You know who I'm talking about, UAE. <laughs> I, okay, here we go. I want to have a super healthy lifestyle in my home and neighborhood. I want my family to be happy safe and healthier than ever. Ooh, is that shoulder surgery? You're in luck because Gemini will help with that. Gemini and Virgo have to do with the shoulders. So I want all of my Gemini mercurial body parts to work better than ever. This includes my lungs, shoulders, wrists, hands, the brain, central nervous system, the synapses in my brain, the thyroid, parathyroids, my entire nervous system. my routine. I want all my Gemini Mercury body parts to work better than ever. Oh, we need to add intestines. My intestines, my lungs, my shoulders, my wrists, my hands, my brain, my, you know, my daily routine, my central nervous system, the synapses between my cells, my thyroid, parathyroids, my entire nervous system. I 
I want to see green, clean energy everywhere. I want my business to thrive with newly inspired ideas and um, technology for success. I want to see step-by-step -step progress that I can sustain. Ooh, okay. Here we go. I want the Christ consciousness consciousness us to overwhelm the Antichrist consciousness i.e. 45 and minions worldwide you you can write this however you want to okay I'm, I'm writing it this way in the interest of time because you know what I mean I want safety and care in the West Bank, Burma. Where else, you guys? Is Syria still getting hurt? Ye Yemen is not in good shape. I want Gaia and Divine Feminine to keep rising and inspiring everywhere. Ooh, the little Murgoats went, yay! Africa. Oh, yes. Belarus. Protection for Navalny. Myanmar. Whoops. Okay, I, I'm switching to orange. I want denuclearization of all weapon systems. Globally. I want the right amendment laws to remove a POTUS under circumstances absolutely requiring it as POTUS becomes threat to USA citizens, health, allies. <laughs> Michael Grant, I want to raise more goats. Well, you are. They're all around you. I revoke all harassments, all interferences, all manipulation. 
Let, how about we just void? I want Putin's power voided everywhere. Past, present, future. And for we want that voided. I want to, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to in the most sublime harmony and peace with nature, my family, and society. I want to experience the very best out there. I want to be dazzled, which is not bedazzling. <laughs> wait, wait, what's this? I want, oh my goodness, you, you guys. Holy cow, look at you guys right, where am I? Fearing people, says, ooh. I want to see people comfortable and curious about those who are different and to see new harmonious friendships click out of thin air. This is a very Gemini thing because it's like neighborhoods, you know, friendships, your, your neighborhood friendships. I want to see corporations spontaneously invest in the well-being of their family of workers. The healthy environments and care needed for the greater good. I want a safe, abundant food and water supply I want our what is it called the chain I want our supply chains to move with ease. I want COVID eradicated. Ooh.
I want an end to corporate health care. I want a system that's run and approved by medical doctors and research and science and to deliver methods that are amazingly affordable and effective. Effective, you know what I mean. I want to see the end of hunger, end of poverty, the end of scarcity, the end of fear. I want rain in the I want plenty of rain for a happy, healthy ecosystems everywhere. I want to find the right way that's easy and fun to shed weight. Extra weight and fat is influenced by the planet Jupiter. The Mars is the one that has to break the stuff down. So if there's an imbalance with Mars and Jupiter, maybe Saturn's in the way, that can affect how we accumulate weight. And right now, Jupiter is in Pisces in a water sign. Pisces rules oils and fats. So don't be surprised if recently you put on some weight and it's a little bit harder to shed it. Come like July, August, it might be easier to shed it once Jupiter goes back into Aquarius. So sometimes you can, you have influence on them. Sometimes you have to consider alternate ways to lose the weight because it depends on how Jupiter is also behaving in your natal chart. So don't take it personally. Ooh. I want to see a campaign for peace officers. community helpers programs aiding non-violent crisis intervention that help the people I, I wish I could think. Oh, oh. Did we do? I want, okay. I want a definitive cure for cancer. I want to see people reach 
for respect and appreciation first. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm there with you on the UFOs, but I want an easy, peaceful world with UFOs and ETs here. That's as far as I can go because that stuff freaks me out. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I want to easily grow beautiful plants and gardens. Okay, that's it. I'm at the end of the list. <laughs> so there was a lot. We covered a lot. I think we covered everything. Eventually, I will get to this new moon, solar eclipse, and Gemini. And as I do my things, I will try to add in these collective wishes this month. Because there's a lot of stuff to... Oh, my goodness. I just saw a bunch of mergoats when I just said... There's plenty to grow here that they were buzzing around with like vines of like a jungle all around them, happily having fun playing. <laughs> Good job, you guys. So we will catch up with you at another time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming. I loved this. The moon is in cancer right now, so this is a really good time to be leveraging these energies when the moon is in her dominion. Applying to Venus with gains. And I'm glad that we targeted the Russia Moscow because that asteroid is right in the way. So we're going to blow that open too, okay? We'll talk soon. Have a happy Aloha Friday. Do good things for yourself. This is unfolding. We will get there. We have come very far in a very short amount of time. We can do this, okay? We can absolutely do this, okay? Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Pammy Sue. Bye, people. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Beth. Love and blessings to all. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, good day. Bye.